This is usually the reason your faucet drips. One little washer. But in order to replace it, you're going to need to get into the inner workings of your faucet. That's going to take some pliers, a Phillips head screwdriver, a pipe wrench, a basin wrench, and a valve seat wrench. Start with turning off your water. Then you're going to take apart your faucet until you get into the valve unit and find this. But be sure to take your faucet apart before you go to the store to buy a replacement washer because there are a lot of washer sizes and you need the exact match. The best way to find that match is to take your old washer to the store with you. Also, pay attention to the order of things you're removing so that you have an easy and exact reassembly process when you're putting things back together. And when you do start to reassemble, use plumber's grease on your threads to get a good seal. A couple of tips. First, close the drain before you start taking your faucet apart so screws or other small parts you need don't disappear into your drain. Also, wrap your pliers with cloth and duct tape before you start taking your faucet apart. This will help you protect the finish on your faucet. That's it. You should be drip free in no time. If you have questions, just visit your local Westlake Hardware. We're always here to help.